Hi, this is Paula from CHE. These are our news for Sherry Camp and surrounding areas from February 21st to the 28th, 2021. On today's segment, the Societe Saint Pierre prepares for COVID safe Mikarem celebrations. Also, a vaccine update from Dr. Strand. But first, it was new Premier Ian Ranking's first week in office. The swear in ceremony was on Tuesday as Ian Ranking and his new cabinet officially took office. I, Ian Rankin, being appointed to be one of Her Majesty's Executive Council for the province of Nova Scotia, do swear that I will in all things be a true and faithful counsellor and will not reveal any of the secrets entrusted to my care as such. His first announcement, a new energy target. The plan is for Nova Scotia to get 80% of its energy from renewable sources by 2030. The province will be putting $19 million into energy saving rebates. From that, about half will go into programs meant to help low-income families make their homes more energy efficient. The other half will go into a rebate program for new and used electric vehicles. Rebates will be $3,000 for new vehicles and $2,000 for used ones. I, Ian Rankin, being appointed to be the Premier. Pre the new Premier, who previously served as Environment and Lands and Forestry Minister, said that besides the pandemic, climate change will also be a priority. Through the Green Choice Program, Nova Scotia will join the federal government in buying energy for government offices from local renewable sources. Please let us know what you think about these new measures. What impact will they have on your life here in Cape Breton? Following some delays in the delivery of COVID vaccines, Dr. Strang said the province is now on target for its second phase of its immunization plan. I can tell you that we uh, anticipate receiving uh, 14,700 doses of vaccine uh, where we are receiving them throughout this week. And our vaccine supply is ex expected to be steady with weekly shipments of at least 10,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine until the, the end of March, uh, meaning that we are on target to meet the outcomes for a 90, the first 90 days of our vaccine strategy. Starting next week, the promise will be mailing letters to seniors who are 80 years and older so they can book their vaccination appointments. Dr. Strang said the province plans to open community immunization clinics in different parts of the province over the next few weeks. COVID-19 isn't going to damper this year's Migarem celebrations. Although some adjustments were required, the Societe Saint-Pierre is planning several activities starting on March 11th, including a free virtual gala on March 13th. Jeremy Poirier, Program organizer for Micarem activities tells us more. Si rien change avec les règlements de la COVID-19, euh, nous sommes dans les préparations de faire les sorties et les Micarem le jeudi soir 11 mars à partir de 19h. Ça, c'est si rien change. Alors, on aura deux musiciens, quelqu'un à deviner les Micarem et on va inviter les Micarem à venir. Malgré que ça court euh, la pandémie, il euh, faut suivre les règlements. Alors, Si y a quelqu'un qui veut se déguiser en Mikarem et venir, c'est comme un, un, un rendez-vous. Faut, faut réserver leur, votre place à l'avance. Malheureusement, c'est la nouvelle vie pour maintenant. Alors, on va organiser ça le jeudi soir. Et à chaque jour de la semaine, on va avoir euh, des petites vidéoclips des Mikarem du temps passé sur notre page Facebook Les Tropignans. Et le Conseil des Arts de Chitika aussi planifie euh, la recette. De la, de la journée. Alors, à chaque soir à 18h sur leur page Facebook, il va y avoir une recette acadienne parce qu'on a des recettes spéciales pendant la Micarène, comme le tamaran, etc., etc. Et c'est pas confirmé, mais on a aussi, on a en fait parlé avec le foyer Parfizette et peut-être même l'école India pour faire des activités d'or ou quoi avec des Micarènes et les résidents pour pouvoir des Micarènes d'or. Those who want to sign up for the Running the Micarem event on March 11th have to call the Trois Pignons at 902-224-2642 to reserve their spot. CHNE will air the recording of the event the following day on March 12th. We will also air the virtual gala on Saturday, March 13th at 7 p.m. on Channel 28. Those are our news for the week. We'll leave you with a view of Shetty Camp this past Wednesday. Thanks for watching.